Mel Hill. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Black Queen. If I, if that's what you are, uh, let me ask you a series of questions. But I'm gonna ask you over on my YouTube channel because you said that I was all weekend I was being violent. So that leads me to believe something that is a little off about you, Miss Hill, ma'am. I have children, Miss Hill. And you just lied on me. You on deck. Mel Hill to the square real quick to make sure she ain't one of them. Because what she said, by definition, was false. Hold on, I got to order my son some food. See, I'm feeding my son, Miss Hill. So that's why I don't need you lying on me. Miss um, Hill, I have to ask you, ma'am. Uh, I know you're an educated woman, so I'm not going to assume anything. So I just have a question, because like I said, I have a, I have kids, ma'am, and I don't need you lying on me. Now, you, you sent out a text and said that all weekend I was violent, violence. That's what you said, ma'am. Uh, but when you look up the definition of violence, the first thing that they talk about is the use of physical violence force physical force ma'am so now you trying to use your little uh liberal democratic talking points that because i'm challenging these brothers on how they destroy black men i use my words i was around my children and in my truck around my family or i was in a room by myself and you use the word violence that's the narrative you want to put out, ma'am. I think you exposing yourself, Miss Hill. Instead of standing next to a strong young black male, this is what they always do. This is the playbook. Because either they go get these effeminate niggas that the first they want, the ones that roll in packs and then they threaten on the side. Or they go get some of our intelligent black women and they use them as pawns to disrespect somebody she didn't even have a conversation with. This ma'am don't know me. This woman don't know me from Adam. And she heard a few things I said and immediately said violence. That's amazing, ma'am. That's a fucking amazing, ma'am. And I'm shocked and appalled. Matter of fact, no, I'm not. This is the same playbook. I told y'all. I told y'all. And I'm going to start to unravel. She knew how when you get a cut and you unravel that tissue off and them scars heal. You see that? And them scars heal up. And it may look a little deformed, but that motherfucker still work. And Miss Hill, you talking to a man that done had his scars and been through his lumps, Miss Hill. So those little attacks are not going to work, ma'am. You're going to have to come better than that. You're going to have to really use that education you claim you have with me, ma'am. I know the playbook and you was wrong. So I'll expect an apology from you, ma'am, because I'm not going to hold no punches against nobody. If you got a white zaddy too, ma'am, I will be attacking your ass too. Because it's time out for that. We're going to let the truth stand on its own without all those attacks that y'all doing. This ain't about Kwame Brown. This is about truth. You guys attack black males every the fucking day. You didn't think it was going to stop. You didn't think it was going to stop at some point. <laughs> you was wrong. And who better than me? Because <laughs> you like that boy, Jack. And you like that little boy, that little Becky with the good hair, don't you? Y'all be at the same parties, don't you? Yeah, plotting up and figuring out how you're going to help Zaddy. Don't you? You down with the swirl, girl? <laughs> I told you, I don't care who y'all go get. You're going to watch your motherfucking mouth when you're dealing with me. You're going to bring truth and you're going to bring facts. I done been lied on long enough. <laughs> but, Jamel, I know what your problem is. I know what your problem is. <laughs> you ain't had nobody give you mama's cooking. <laughs> You've been in the wrong circles, ma'am. You would have had a connection to something. You would have saw something in me. You would have known better than to say what you said. 
because it don't make any factual sense and it's unnecessary for you to get in man talk, ma'am. See, that's what tell me you competing with men, ma'am. Because when men are speaking, you ain't supposed to be saying nothing, ma'am. Oh, did I say that? Yes, the fuck I did. You ain't got nothing to do with two brothers talking and figuring out their issues as men. The only thing you can do, ma'am, by adding in your two cents is fan the flames. So please hush with all due respect. You don't know what you talking about. Nobody. Nigga, I was out here cutting my own grab, punk. Don't you ever talk about me like that, boy. Watch your motherfucking mouth. You on the track, the Jack? You pretty car, pretty shoe wearing motherfucker. I can't tell if you a male model, a basketball player, or active. I don't know what the fuck you a little vain ass is. But you talking about a nigga with a track, the nigga. Look at my baby over there, nigga. Yeah, this my land, punk. Yeah. You see that, boy? That's my tractor, boy. Yeah, you don't know shit about that. Yeah. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Better watch your motherfucking mouth. I keep telling you niggas that. And that's not an attack. Remember, Jack. Like Rich dirt. Jack. You already, you didn't make it in basketball. <laughs> Motherfucker, I got, if I'm a good person, nigga, I got 70 years to live. So you mean to tell me, you punk bitch, I done retired at 30-something. And then my life is over? Because of a game, you punk bitch? You a sad, stupid motherfucker. And I'm glad. I hope you dumb bitch to say something else. <laughs> I hope you dumb motherfucker say something else. Because they tried to use you, Jack, because they thought you was authentic. <laughs> but they ain't know I got mama's cooking, you stupid motherfucker. I told you that, boy. Yeah, they tried to use that little light-skinned nigga so he could use his good skin on me. <laughs> but that shit don't work. He ain't one of them light-skinned niggas like Drake. He one of them fake, tough, light-skinned niggas. <laughs> you should have been a smooth nigga just getting pussy. But no, you one of them angry bro. Stephen A. Smith. The analyst. The number one analyst. Rachel Nichols. Hmm. I want somebody to tell me when I lie. Rachel Nichols uh, was talking about Derrick Rose, right? Derrick Rose, you know, great comeback story. Guy who was hurt, another black man. Yo, you know yo, that? yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Had to come tap in. Cormie Brown got the smoke for everybody right now. Now, normally, bro, when people be into it, I don't be laughing and giggling and joking like this when it be some bullshit going on. That's because I cover rap shit, and sometimes that shit be street shit, and I don't want to egg that street shit on. But this is just pure entertainment, bro. I ain't going to even lie. Kwame Brown coming with all the grease for everybody right now. He going at Jamel Hill because of her response to him and everything like that. After him going off, he's saying she need to stay out of men business yeah. video or whatever. But it's real motherfucking entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. Um, then he went, you know, he called out Rachel Nichols on some shit because she be, you know, talking with Stephen A. Smith. He can't stand Stephen A. Smith. And then the issue with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson, you know, that he ain't got to get all that personal to me, bro. I ain't never see them just get super personal with him on the show. I do understand Kwame Brown been kicked down. For like 20 years, bro. And to hear niggas still kind of speaking on you and shit and dog you out, going to piss you off. Stephen A. Smith, he just don't like that nigga all around. It is what it is. But I will say, man, they, they'll work this out, bro. Kwame Brown will get back, you know, to his normal self and it'll be cool. But right now he entertaining the world on his YouTube channel going crazy. Uh, I say this too, man. Um, with everything going on like this, bro. He did come shed the light on some real shit in the world, bro. He was saying some real shit on there, too, about life and, you know, the community and how niggas is viewed in the media who come from the hood and everything and that shit like that, man. He was saying some real shit. Now, he over the top with a lot of the shit, man, that he's saying, but he is adding some good messages in there also, but... Dog been going to fuck in for the last couple days, man. And we'll just see what happened with this shit, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel, Urban Politicians TV.